Dave, you went on CNN today. I, I watched a segment with you and uh, talking about this Vince McMahon stuff. Did you you just recorded it from your house? Yeah, it was. We we, we talked for like we had like a long conversation. I knew it was going to be edited up, so it was kind of like I wasn't going to be able to get like into any detail on anything. So I'd be, I, but I did see the piece later. You know, we, it was actually done this morning, and um, like right when I woke up. But <laughs> it's been. Uh, Quite the day today, I must say. Quite the day the last couple days, and it's probably going to uh, go on for a while, it looks like. So, what actually, before we get to the Vince McMahon stuff, what did you think of the piece? Because it was short, and I think the people who uh, you know were kind of waiting for it, they, they thought, oh, gosh, I thought this was going to be longer, or maybe they thought it was going to be a live interview. But ultimately, what did you think about what they did? Um, it's about what I was, would have expected. I didn't, ex- you know, like uh, a show like that, they're going to give you the nuts and bolts and they did, and they're not going to be able to go in depth. They're going to like, you know, the history of events, although they did, you know, I mean, they did, they talked about the steroid trial. So I think overall, you know, I think overall it was all right. I mean, it was what, what, what I would have expected. You know, when I looked at it, it was like, yeah, it's about what I expected it to be. All right. So you were up late last night, early this morning, writing the issue and then early this morning, the story came down that Vince McMahon voluntarily stepped down as chairman and CEO during the invest- investigation, and Stephanie McMahon became the interim chairwoman and CEO effective immediately. So I, the, I guess that my question is, um, I mean, they made sure to say that, that Vince is, is stepping down voluntarily so that they wanted to make that clear that it was sort of his decision um do you believe it was his decision oh ultimately yeah 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 i'm sure he was advised uh to do it to um you know for it's all i mean i i see this all as basically a front i don't i don't like it's not like i take this as a serious story if he was like removing himself from the company that would be a big story yeah um i mean he's on tv tonight he is still head of creative. It was business as usual backstage, um, you know, which I was told it was going to be, you know, and it was. So it's just it's it's a cosmetic change uh, to make it look like, well, we're doing an investigation. So I'm going to do the right thing during the investigation. But, you know, he's still running the company and and her being in that position is is hilarious, obviously. But I don't think it's significant because you know, um, it's interim. It's not like she's really going to be running the company. She's pretty much, you know, she in her mind had checked out to begin with and she kind of dragged back in because, you know, of the nature of this thing and the fact that it was her and not, uh, you know, whether it's Nick Khan or, or somebody else that would be like, uh, you know, someone who could actually, who would actually be really running the company and not mm-hmm. Vince. Um, at that point, um, you know, of course, then I would think that that was a pretty big deal. Right now, I just think it's just a, you know, something for the public to make it look like we're taking the investigation seriously. And, you know, Vince is doing the right thing um, for the public. You know, I don't. So, um, you know, when I was very surprised it was Stephanie. But then after thinking about it, I wasn't at all because it was like, of course, you know, of course, that's who it's going to be. OK, but don't they think that? Others will sort of put two and two together like that. Like they made it very apparent. And and I was going to ask you, because that's immediately what I thought was, oh, he's just sort of a cell phone call away or whatever if he's outside of the building. Because, um, you know, I remember. But he's not, but he's not even outside the building. He's right. going to be running creative. Like so, if, so it's like he's not even like not even going to the he's, he's not even like going to the office. It's not even like he's, you know, suspended like the police officer who's suspended and you don't go to work until right. the investigation of you is over. This is not that he's still working. He's still running the company. He's yes. still going to go to the same office, have the same secretary and and nothing is going to change. OK, so you wrote in your story. One person with extensive knowledge of that aspect of the story said they believe Stephanie McMahon being buried was a preemptive move to preserve the stock price. Now, we had been talking about, you know, Stephanie leaving and then them sort of being negative about her in a previous world. That was, you know, you're going to be fired if you if you talk poorly about Stephanie. Yeah. And then and then now. So do you think that this was all sort of a a ploy? This was a storyline that they created so that 
the the stock wouldn't take a hit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe that that's probably it. That um, well, her, I mean, her leaving wasn't a storyline. I mean, her leaving was real. Um, I mean, that was the real idea, and you know, she was basically, you know, um, I don't know if forced is the word. I mean, but it was basically asked to return because, um, you know, they wanted to make it look like everything is cool and, uh, you know, they, but it is interesting that, that, you know, as a sort of public face of the company, they went back to her, um, you know, instead of, you know, probably just because she had the name value, I suppose. Yeah. To the public face, the, the, the folks who really understand that world know who Nick Khan is and they respect what he does. Like I, I listen to podcasts about. Do, 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 do they? Cause I mean, like I've, I've seen so much on like Nick Khan being like the villain who's, you know, <laughs> slicing heads and uh, you know, you know, getting all the McMahons out of the company and everything like that. Well, um, I mean, I, I don't know if that's what they think now, but just, you know, I remember during WrestleMania season, he was on a, a podcast that I listened to on the ringer, which is basically, it, it's sort of like the, the Hollywood reporter, kind of podcast and and nick was on it and i i thought i thought it was a pretty good that was a pretty good show though you know he, he he did state some of the wwe normal lines about attendance and stuff but ultimately i think that he's he's very much respected in that world because of he's, he he's, he's, from. He's, the world he came from he's very respected yes. yeah so yeah. Yes. but to to the folks who really don't know about that world I guess Stephanie McMahon is is the right person to put in that position so that it sounds like, you know, things are or that, that you have a, a plan B or, or something, even though that maybe pl- plan mean, B the, isn't necessary because they're the, not the, the, being truthful. The fact that Vince did not remove himself from creative one more time tells you they have no plan B, because if they did, I think that Vince, you know, they would put whoever that person is that would be the next the succession person would be there um, and they wouldn't have, you know, but, but Vince doesn't want to leave, you know, obviously. Um, but, but I think one of the reasons he doesn't want to leave is because he's got nobody else. Yeah. He's got nobody else who can do it. Like before, you know, it was always Paul Levesque and you know, that, that ship seems to have sailed, although maybe not, maybe not. You just, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Um, you know, um, it's just, I, I mean, I don't, there's so much going on behind the scenes right now. So I'm like, I, nobody knows how this thing's going to fall out. I mean, I was, you know, in contact with people there tonight and it's just like, we're all just sitting and waiting. You know, nobody knows how this thing's going to go. Just one day at a time. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.